to integrate radius authentication with the palo alto firewall you will have to click on device and then go to server profile and radius you will have to create the radius profile in my case i'm going to name it as radius profile and then i'm not going to change any of the other parameters like time out or retries i'm going to keep it as 3 3 and the authentication protocol will by default is PEAP MS JAP version 2. I'll change it to JAP as per my radius uh, server settings, which is a commonly used protocol. And then we'll have to add the server. In my case, server is, let me try to fetch the server name so that it is helpful for me to identify So I've named it as my host name on my radius server and the IP address of my radius server is one ninety. Let me try to verify that. So this is my IP address on my radius server. And let me show you the status of my radius service. Let me start the radius service. Okay, now the radius uh, service is running. Now we should be a uh, good to proceed with the configuration on our Palo Alto firewall. So this is the IP address 192.168.0.190. The secret well is something that you will have to fetch it from your radius server. I'll show you the example. So radius So if you go here, you can add the client. In my case, you can see here, I've added the client as my Palo Alto firewall, and I have given the secret as testing month three. And there's one more global setting here, which is Okay, I don't have the global setting which defines the secret okay this is the secret here again this is the global secret well in my case i have given as testing one two three for the palo alto client that i have created so i've given testing one two three for the client that i've added this is the palo alto client with the ip address 192.168.0.96 this is the management interface ip not the revenue interfaces that I have on Palo Alto Firewall. So make sure you add the management interface IP there. Going back to the GUI, well, I'll add the secret here. 
testing one two three testing one two three and the default port one eight one two click ok now that the profile is configured we'll try to uh, create a authentication create an authentication profile just go to the authentication profile here click on add and name it as authentication radius authentication radius profile and then type you can set it as so under authentication you will have to select the type which is our radius and then the server profile which we have created for the radius this is the radius profile that i've created inside the server profiles and then rest of the thing we can leave it as it is next we will come to advanced settings so under advanced settings you will have to allow you have to create the allow list well there is no user currently created inside the local user local user database so i'll select it as all and click ok so now that we have the authentication profile created we can use this profile and we can try configuring the firewall to use the radius uh, database to authenticate the administrator so click on admin role so these are the predefined admin role we'll try to make use of these role for our administrator which will get authenticated via our uh, radius server so click on add and create a new administrator so this name should match the username created on the radius uh, server for example if i go to the cli So you can see here, I have a user with the name SUMIT1 and SUMIT2. So I'm supposed to use these user as an administrator on Palo Alto Firewall. Going back to Firewall. So I'm going to add this name. And I'm going to select the authentication profile as radius profile, which I have created in the last step. So this is the radius profile. after that there are two other uh, options available use only client certificate authentication which is web and use public key authentication for ssh we don't want that next option is to configure the administrator type you can go for dynamic or you can go for role based well you'll have to create the profile or you can use the custom profile available so this is the super user role you can select here. So we can select this and click OK. Or else you can go for a role base and create a new custom role. And then add that. So in my case, let me go with the dynamic uh, super user role base and click OK. So now that we have all the configuration in place, let me try to commit the configuration. And we can try our login with the radius username so one more thing is i'll go to setup scroll down under management authentication profile you can configure it to the one that we have created radius profile under authentication settings certificate none the rest of the thing you can leave it as it is click ok so now we have the authentication setting as 
the profile that we have created radius underscore profile here in the administrator now we have the two administrator configured here this is the radius uh, username and the profile set as radius profile so that it gets authenticated via the radius server and we have one more user let me try to create that as well and then set the profile to the one that we have created dynamic super user okay now we can commit okay so the configuration is committed so inside the setup management authentic authentication settings you will see the radius profile inside administrator we have the two radius usernames and we have given the role as super user you can change this to custom as per your requirement and these are the custom admin roles authentication profile we have created and we have allowed list as all since we do not have the list of users and then coming down to our server profile inside radius we have all the configuration here which is our uh, authentication protocol radius server ip secret port number so we are all good now let's try to test the radius authentication from the cli palo alto firewall and then we'll switch to the authentication where the radius username so so to test the radius authentication you'll have to type in test authentication authentication profile you will see the profile as the one that we have created and then you will have to use the username which is our user one and then you'll have to enter the password which is you can see here password you don't have to enter the password you'll have to click enter and then enter the password here so you can see here authentication succeeded let me try to use the user two So now that this user is also getting authenticated from the radius server, that proves that the authentication is working. Let's try to check the packet on the radius server. I have the TCP dump enabled. And this is the management interface IP from Palo Alto. Let's try to initiate the authentication test from Palo Alto. You can see here the request. And the response accepted. I can show you on, again for the user two as well. So you can see here for user two, this is the first packet, 1812. UDP radius, username attribute one, chap password attribute accepted. So that proves that the traffic is going to the radius server and the username is getting authenticated by the radius service on the radius server. And fine let me try to switch back to the gui try to log out and try using my first user and second user to see if it is accepted by the radio server or not let's try to use the first user
Let me try to switch to the second user to see if it is working or not. So both the user authentication is working fine via the radius server. That proves that our configuration is working fine. That's all in this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next video. Bye.